Have you ever used Amazon Web Services Elastic Beanstalk? Yes, I like to use it to deploy and manage web applications in the AWS cloud. Great! Which programming language should I use to develop my application? You can use AWS Elastic Beanstalk to deploy applications developed with many popular programming languages such as Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js, Python, Ruby, and Docker. Perfect! In that case, I have an application ready to deploy. After you upload your application, AWS Elastic Beanstalk automatically handles the deployment details of capacity provisioning, load balancing, auto-scaling, and application health monitoring. Hmm. Will I be able to control the resources powering my application? Definitely. You're in control of the AWS resources, and you can access the underlying resources at any time. Good to know. What are some of the other AWS resources? Elastic Beanstalk relies on AWS services such as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Auto Scaling, Elastic Load Balancing, and Amazon Simple Storage Service to deliver a highly reliable, scalable, and cost-effective infrastructure that hundreds of thousands of businesses depend on today. How do I monitor my application's performance? You can use Amazon CloudWatch with AWS Elastic Beanstalk to get metrics and set alarms. Very cool. So how do I get started? An easy way to access Elastic Beanstalk is through the AWS Management Console. You can also use the AWS Elastic Beanstalk Command Line Interface or the Elastic Beanstalk API. AWS also provides toolkits and SDKs. Okay, so there are a lot of ways to access it. But how secure is it? Yes, AWS Elastic Beanstalk runs on AWS's highly secure infrastructure that provides complete segregation and privacy in the cloud. Like all AWS services, Elastic Beanstalk provides HTTPS endpoints for encrypted network access and requires the use of cryptographic credentials in order to access or launch any required AWS resources. You can add an additional layer of security by setting up a DMZ using Amazon VPC to create a private subnet for your AWS resources. Is there a way to manage access to my application for users and groups? You can control which users have access and limit permission to read-only access to AWS Elastic Beanstalk by creating AWS Identity and Access Management users. So with IAM, I can securely control access to my AWS resources? Yes, there is a free training online with a self-paced lab to get you started if you are new to IAM. That's great. Do you know if there is also a free self-paced lab for AWS Elastic Beanstalk? There is. Before you get started, I can give you a quick demo in my account. That would be great. Thanks. I'm going to log into my AWS Management Console and I will show you how to create and deploy a new application in Elastic Beanstalk, view information about your environment, and change the environment configuration settings. First, let's get an application. I already have one that we can use. After you save that zip file to your computer, log into the AWS Management Console. Click the AWS Elastic Beanstalk icon to open its console. From the Region drop-down list, select a region that is closest to you. For this example, we will leave it set to the default region, Oregon. On the AWS Elastic Beanstalk Application Navigation Bar, click Create a New Application. Enter a name for the application and an optional description if you want. Click Next to select the environment type. Environment type specifies whether the environment is many instances that should be load balanced and auto scaled or whether it is just a single instance. Based on the application we are using for this demonstration, we'll leave this setting as a web server and a predefined configuration to Python. Select single instance for the environment type because that is all that's needed. Click next to move on to application version. Select the radio button, Upload Your Own. Now choose the sample application zip file we just downloaded. Click Next. Specify an environment name if you want to change it from the default. Click Next to skip over additional resources and go to the Configuration Details page. 
Here you can determine the processing power, enable remote login, and get notifications emailed to you about changes to your environment. You can also grant permissions with identity and access management. Click Next. We aren't making any custom environment tags, so click Next to move on to review. After you review everything and it looks correct, click Launch. It takes a few minutes for Elastic Beanstalk to create an application. After it is created, you will see the status is and says green. This means your application is ready to use. That's great! You can view information about the application you deployed and its provisioned resources in the dashboard. From the AWS Elastic Beanstalk Applications dashboard page, we can see the status is and says green and is ready to use. Open the application by clicking the URL in the Environment page. The sample application does have a few inactive links, but it does have an active sign-up link. Click this link to reveal the form. When you submit this form, the application stores this entry in Amazon DynamoDB and publishes a notification or message to the Amazon Simple Notification Service. Congratulations! You have used AWS Elastic Beanstalk to successfully deploy a sample application to the cloud. Thanks so much. Go to run.quicklabs.com to try it out with a free self-paced lab. While you're there, check out the other free AWS introduction trainings to learn about more AWS products and services. You can play around without having to open an account.